Hello students welcome back to visual merchandising online class here i am kabishri bhaiya yoko strena from retail services this is a continuation from the previous class which we have studied that is types and purpose of fixtures from unit 3 prepared display area so let's begin in our previous class we have studied what are fixtures and the four types and purpose of fixtures that is floor showcase island display show and sell fixture and vitrine so today we are going to learn the rest three types of fixtures and its purpose that is gondola wall cases and multi purpose merchandise system So at the end of this today's session you should be able to describe the three types and purpose of fixtures. Gondolas which are commonly used fixtures for show interiors. Gondolas are permanent fixtures that are on wheels and can be moved from one location to another. They are used to house many different items such as computers, toys, food and greeting cards. They are equipped with a signage that features the vendor's name and logo to give recognition to the product it holds. They are usually constructed of materials such as wood, metal and pegboard. So in this picture you can see an example of gondola where kids items are displayed and is decorated with a colorful signage on the gondolas to create an identity in the store. So this is one more example of gondola. Gondolas are commonly used in supermarket and have various advantages. The gondola shelving units are a popular option for stores because they are versatile and can be adapted to meet any need. It also maximizes the space and helps in increasing the profits. It is an ideal for any space. No matter what industry a business is in gondola shelving is an efficient option for storing products due to their versatility and ability to maximize space these units are often found in places such as supermarkets department stores and convenience stores because no matter what products a business has to sell they can accommodate them wall cases permanently installed on the wall filled with shelves for stackable items or are fitted with rods for hanging merchandise walls in commercial interiors are one of the most important display areas for the sale of merchandise they play a decisive role in a store's or brand's image walls are generally used intensively for display purposes Shelves and hanging rails at identical heights express serenity and orderliness while offset heights creates excitement. When presenting merchandise on wall system shelving, many retailers reserve the top shelves to feature displays of merchandise in combination with wall graphics. This practice adds eye-catching variety and height to the back of the skyline. It also enhances shoppers views from the front of the store or edge of the department drawing them farther in to inspect merchandise. It is a visual merchandiser's task to ensure that the wall case is not boring. The next commonly used fixture for store interior is multi-purpose merchandise system. As multi-purpose merchandise systems are not temporarily installed, they offer great flexibility. They can be configured to adapt to most retailers' needs. It can come with slate wall, pegboard, and grid wall. All these systems are able to create a combination of shelves that can change quickly to meet most merchandise needs. So this is an example of pegboard. which has a variety of brackets that can hold either shelves or hanging rods slate wall slate wall has grooved panels whereby fittings are inserted for shelving or hanging items 
The first picture you can see is an example of bird merchandise and the right picture is a face out. Slit wall is like a series of painted wood or laminate covered horizontally grooved panels which is applied directly to a wall. They look somewhat like wooden siding on a home. Grid wall. Grid wall also has a similar combination. Grid wall is a series of wire panels fabricated in a variety of grid like patterns permanently fastened to store walls by brackets and screws. Both slit wall and grid wall systems require a unique type of hardware bracket on each garment rod, crossbar, street or waterfall. So these are the examples of apparel fixtures which are most commonly used in retail store interior. Tea stand, forearm, rounder and trivial rack. Tea stand is great for displaying a variety of apparels. Forearm is an excellent way to display a large number of garments on a single rack while occupying a minimum amount of showroom space. Round rack or rounder. It is a capacity fixture. Its main function is stocking basic items that have been purchased in depth. Round racks are also used to stock broken assortment and clearance merchandise. This fixture is available in several diameters and adjustable heights so that dresses and slacks can be presented with their hems an adequate distance from the floor. And trivial rack which is another fixture which we use in store interior. So here in this picture you can see some of the fixtures which we use in store interior such as bars and hardware, shelving, waterfall face out, straight arm face out, slate board, display grid and adjustable rod. So here waterfall and straight arms are the conventional wall feature fixtures. Waterfall fixtures or slant arms display products on a wall facing outward so that the full front of the garment is visible. The waterfall is best used to feature tops, jackets, suits or dresses. Pants and skirts do not merchandise well on waterfalls because the hanger tops are so prominent all you see at fixture level is a casket of plastic. And straight arms serve the same purpose as waterfalls to make the full front of a single garment visible to shoppers. They are available in square and rectangular versions in addition to round tubing. Either tops or bottoms may be featured on straight arms. Straight arms are available with different style of fittings so that fit into grid wall and slate wall standards or clip over crossbars. So that's all for today. I hope you have learned and understood. In case of any doubts or queries, please feel free to call or text. Thank you.